Hey everyone, let me go here. And this is my Lufinia Plus video. Well, this is probably the last time I'm saying this. My last Lufinia Plus video for this, uh, for, for well, the current um, era. Uh, I'm not sure whether they're going to do, you know, the same way. Uh, if you finish the FR stage, I'm not, I'm not sure what, uh, I believe they call it what, Shinryu stage, something like that. Uh, then uh, you will finish the Lufinias and the Lufinia Blasters, right? Uh, it would be nice if you can do that, then you don't have to, you know, fight three uh, battles consecutively. Or rather, three annoying bat battles where you can only bring specific characters consecutively. But anyway, um, for this fight, it's, um, this op it's actually not difficult to maintain. All you have to do is just make sure that um, you have, uh, you refresh or re re regain two skills after um, using an action. So, uh, you know, someone like Squall, Selfie, which is why you see. Basically, I think almost every single one of the um, FF8 characters can do that, right? I think that's their gimmick. Um, yeah, uh, it's not it's not difficult honestly. Uh, you can I think you can bring like Quistus. Uh, he, the Behemoth can be delayed, you know, so she is a viable option. And I got really unlucky with the turn order. Um, the Behemoth <laughs> was super fast, and um, I think only Noctis and Zack is able to take a turn. I, wait, I I can't remember. Oh right, um, I think it was Zack initially, and then he pushed. Uh, he broke the behemoth and then uh, selfie pushed the behemoth even further. But uh, on on a on a you know a, a better turn order would be you know having three characters all in one, or you know all before going before uh, the behemoth goes, because uh you, you see you know this this is what happens when he takes a turn. He put up a really massive HP shield. Uh yeah, it looks to me like it's uh, one million. So very similar to the transcendent stage. I'm not exactly sure how many times he put it up because I don't believe he actually took another turn after this. But super annoying. <laughs> I could have killed him so much faster if not for that shield. So uh, right here you actually see him using drain. Uh, basically what I'm trying to do is trying to use every single one of Selfie's skill, uh, her wall and her drain. Well, those two at least because um, for for the op to increase, you need to have you need to actually gain that one skill back. So it. It, I know that um, her C65 will give her plus one skill for each of her, um, you know, her S1 and S2. But if her S1 or S2 is full, then it actually doesn't increase the op. Even though you do get one, it's just that um, it doesn't register that that one is um, in excess. So yeah. So this op will only increase when you increase. Uh, when when the, uh when your skills go up by one, and uh, uh go up by two. Sorry, so uh one each for selfie. And uh, this is definitely them trying to um, sell King because you know King's uh, S two is able to just increase the odd constantly. Pretty sure his LD is also able to do that, but uh don't call me on that. I've not used him. <laughs> so basically, selfie is just there to enable launch and to uh. Increase up. You only, honestly, you only need to increase it once because after that the behemoth just goes down. Between your burst sequence and the amount of burst that you use and your summon, he doesn't have enough health. So just to get the brave regen going, oh sorry, the brave battery after the HP dumps going, and then honestly, um, it is just setting up with uh, Noctis and Zack in terms of the call. And then honestly, that's it. The behemoth is dead. I believe we do go into summon, and it's kind of nice that we do go into summon just so that I can heal up the damage that the behemoth did. Because uh, if not, then I don't believe I'll hit the trash hole. Yeah, 15,000 15, HP. That's not a lot, especially because um the behemoth loves to spam HP attacks, and he also uh will have a cut in order. You know the usual, where if I'm not sure if it's too many turns. Or if it's um, HP gated, I believe it's HP gated, so I'm guessing it's like the 49, 29% mark. Uh, he will actually cut in order, and then uh, he will take he will take his turns regardless of um, where your team, your party members are. But you can bring him out of it. So uh, if he does that cut in order, and Garnet, for example, Garnet's overhead uh, goes off, and he breaks, 
then whoever snakes will still come forward. So he still can be broken uh, by breaking. Oh, sorry, push back by breaking him. So yeah, uh, it is possible, you know. You can put some some uh, a time thing, you know, something like Doom or something. It, I mean, I'm not sure why you were bringing him, bring, you know, whoever I'm talking about. But yeah, I really don't like him. But uh, yeah, you know, it, it is possible to um, get him out of that uh, cut in order stage. Or maybe just take one of it, because I believe I took two before Garnet's overhead triggered. So, um, with uh, Rupture up, we will be launching constantly. So, um, Zach is always doing like 2 million damage, so it's really, really nice. <laughs> I believe I I finished this with, um, was it 20? I can't remember if it was 20 million damage. Uh, of course, those are peanuts compared to what we what we are going to do with in, uh, in the FRER, right? I'm not sure when is um, Kane's Banner dropping actually, I'm actually re really looking forward to it. I give it uh, somewhere sometime next week. Yeah, probably... Um, well, today is like, what, today is Wednesday. So maybe... Next Friday? I, I, I suspect, you know, somewhere along, the, along that, that timeline. Of course, if you want a more accurate timeline, then you can just go uh, to the Tom Daddy Troop and, and or just wait for, you know, the announcement. So honestly, this this fight is that, that, that's pretty much for this fight. Uh, he loves to spend HP, but if you don't, if he doesn't take any HP attack, then you know. <laughs> I mean, if he doesn't, um, if he doesn't get get to do a turn, then you know, he's not gonna do anything. Uh, right. The HP damage notification is actually cancelled by him using a uh, meteor plus, which is like basically the enhanced version of meteor. Uh, he'll come out of brave. And it's a group AoE HP attack. Uh, I don't think you're in any danger now, you know, especially if you're bringing someone like Zack. I'm pretty sure Vincent is also able to um, tank it out because of all his uh, attack down, right? His, his attack down, I, th I think he has like quite a few attack down debuffs uh, or auras, I can't remember. Uh, I got him again if you didn't. Uh, if you didn't watch my pool video, I got him again, so that's like what, 5 uh, burst tokens, that, I mean 5 uh, burst weapons that I can sell. <laughs> it's really insane to be honest. Kinda wish that I didn't use any gems on it. But yeah, uh, there we go, 17% and the finisher. I believe it, it actually, this finisher actually did quite a lot, it actually brought him down to like 8%. I think, I think it was somewhere close to 8%. There we go, he's like 11% now, right now. and. Uh, I can't, can't see. It's always oh, this bright light that I can't see. There we go, 20 million. Nice. Uh, yeah, 8% damage. I'm uh, sorry, 8% health. <laughs> wow, 8% damage. That's quite a lot. Actually, considering the fact that I just did 10 10%, 10%, 8% doesn't seem that much anymore. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, yeah, there we go. One turn. And. Oh, sorry. He, so he just took one turn before Garnet's overhead uh, triggered. And that was like 4%. Sorry, 3%. Sorry, 2%, it was at like 7%, right? Yeah, 2%. So, got, got, went into the summon because I didn't want the, the Humor to take any more turns. And right now, it's basically just trying to heal Zack up. So, this is why I'm actually just C65 spamming. Just so that I can get the heal up. And then, I was comparing which one will heal Zack more. Is either the Meteor shot or his EX. EX heals about 20%, Meteor was about 50%. So, yeah. You know, the choice is obvious here. So, yeah, guys. Um... Slightly longer, I think, this video than the normal Lufinia Pluses. It's about 9 minutes. But, uh, not too difficult a fight. We have too many options to maintain the op for it to be difficult. And, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the FR era. <laughs>